It can be life-threatening. I've seen dogs die from it. New at 530, a warning for all dog owners. Foxtail plants thrive on Fiesta Island along several popular hiking trails and even possibly in your backyard. And these weeds pose a deadly threat to dogs. 10 News reporter Kristen Keogh found out what you can do to protect your own pet. Katie Salaz thought she'd considered everything that could harm her dogs, Dixie and Diesel. Where we go, where we play. But like most pet owners who take their pups to Fiesta Island, she didn't know about one danger to dogs hiding in this brush. Have you ever heard of foxtails? I haven't. It just takes one of these to cause terrible infections. Dr. Kristen Van Mayle at San Diego Bay Animal Hospital in Point Loma and her colleagues performed three surgeries to remove pieces of these pesky plants in one week. And it kind of acts like a fishing hook. She's seeing two to three cases every day. This whole area is soft tissue swelling caused by the foxtail. Now, this x-ray shows a dog who ate a foxtail. Could have migrated. These can migrate to their brain, to their lungs, and trying to find it in the chest cavity is like a needle in a haystack. The foxtails can enter a dog's body through their mouth, ears, paws, and even their genitals. If it goes untreated, it can lead to a life-threatening infection. It goes up through the bladder into the kidney, and then I've had to remove a kidney, and on biopsy, there was a foxtail in the kidney. If you're not sure if your dog came into contact with one of these foxtails, there are some precautions you can take. They could save you thousands of dollars and even your dog's life. Just checking all the paws and between the toes. Katie plans on keeping an even closer eye on her pups when they're playing near the brush. He's always out there, so now knowing about it, well, I want to keep them closer. At Fiesta Island, Kristen Keogh, 10 News. I'm seeing three a day. That's a lot more than I would ever think. That is, and I had no idea, so I'm glad we're putting that message out there. For Charlotte. Yeah. yeah. All right, if you are ever concerned that your dog may have this foxtail injury, look for symptoms including chewing his or her paws, scratching, sneezing, and lethargic behavior.